Hi, I'm Teniola Shobowale. Here's your Channel TV Evening News Recap for March the 10th, 2021. Nigerian workers in their hundreds stormed the National Assembly complex in Abuja, demanding the withdrawal of a bill that would remove the national minimum wage from the exclusive to the concurrent legislators list. About a fortnight ago, the House of Representatives introduced a bill which, according to the sponsor, Honorable Garba Mohammed, would allow both the federal and state government to freely negotiate the minimum wage with their workers in line with the nation's federal system. The House of Representatives on Wednesday called on the federal government to ensure that the £4.2 million Ibori loot be returned to Delta State. The lawmakers insisted that the funds were stolen from Delta State and such should rightly be returned to the state. They added that the funds are needed for the infrastructural development of the state. Meanwhile, His Royal Highness Atahiro Hamad, Emir of Anka in Zamfara State, says more than 100 miners operating between Anka and Maru local government areas in the state were abducted by bandits on March the 2nd. Emir Hamad, chairman of the State Council of Chiefs, disclosed this in the Zamfara State capital on Tuesday when Loki Rabo, chief of defense staff, led service chiefs on an assessment visit to the state. The Emir explained that the incident took place when the state was focused on the rescue of the 279 students abducted on February the 26th from Government Girls Secondary School, Jangibi. On the international scene, the death toll from four explosions that rocked a military camp in Equatorial Guinea and surrounding areas has risen to 105 with the discovery of seven more bodies. A total of 615 people were injured in Sunday's accidental blast at the Inkoa and Toma camp in the country's economic hub, Bata, which devastated buildings at the compound and houses in surrounding districts. And in sports, Neymar will miss Paris Saint-Germain's Champions League last 16 second leg against Barcelona on Wednesday after failing to shake off a thigh injury. PSG said on Tuesday the Brazil attacker would continue to train individually and would be assessed again in the coming days. And that's the Evening News Recap. Don't forget to join us tomorrow for fresh updates. I'm Tenyo Lash Shubo Ale. Thanks for watching.